the automobile business is constantly evolving with the most recent alternative energy gas cars spawning technology that seems light years ahead of the combustible engine vehicle. Electric vehicles, often known as EVs, have lately gained popularity. Global EV sales increased by 40% between 2019 and 2020, owing to the increasing availability of various kinds of cheap electric vehicles, Tesla's past stock market performance, and rising gasoline prices. To keep up with the moving trend, an Israeli company named Storedot has developed a fantastic invention that everyone believes is highly rated and rather humiliating to Tesla. To know more about Storedot's development, watch this video to the end so you won't miss anything. Storedot, an Israeli startup headquartered in Herzliya, has been developing lithium-ion based batteries since 2012. They achieved this by formulating solutions that use nanomaterials and organic and inorganic chemicals to allow ultra-fast charging for the mobile and industrial sectors. Storedot claimed that it had developed the world's first automobile battery that could be ultimately charged in only 5 minutes. This marks a watershed moment in the electric vehicle sector. According to the firm, the method redefined the chemistry of traditional lithium-ion batteries, reducing charging periods for electric vehicles from hours to minutes. However, the innovation will take time to commercialize since the ultra-fast charge will need far higher power chargers than are presently available. Electric vehicles, which are an essential component of global efforts to combat climate change, have faced the problem of batteries requiring hours to completely charge, causing range anxiety. The dread of a battery running out mid-trip and leaving their driver stranded at a charging station. The cylindrical cells used by the business are 46 mm wide by 80 mm long. They have a 4680 size which is preferred by worldwide car makers, mainly electric vehicle manufacturer Tesla. The battery technology has been under development for three years. It comprises five cell design patents according to a statement issued by Storedot last week. According to the firm, the design increases throughput. It solves safety and performance concerns usually associated with the hard case construction of cylindrical cells. They also claim that they are currently working on establishing a production line with EVE Energy, its Chinese manufacturing partner. Storedot CEO Dr. Doran Meyersdorf states that achieving the objective of extremely rapid charging a cylindrical cell in just 10 minutes has been on Storedot's technological roadmap from the beginning. It it's critical that we can provide electric vehicle makers with a variety of cell forms that use our XFC technology to solve the existing obstacles to EV ownership. In terms of range and charging anxiety, this refers to the dread of a battery dying during a trip and leaving the motorist stuck at a charging point. This innovation is mainly accomplished by substituting graphite with metalloid nanoparticles such as silicon in the cell's anode. This will help address significant safety problems, cycle life, and cell swelling during the charging process. Meyersdorf states that the firm was currently in advanced talks with several major automakers. They intend to provide them with different XFC cells, allowing a fast transition to the zero emissions electrified future. The 4680 size battery and its first generation fast charging pouch cell targeted at the EV market will be ready for mass production in 2024. Stordot is also developing extreme energy density solid state technologies, which allow for extended battery life and will go into commercial production in 2028. BP Ventures, the arm of the British multinational oil and gas company BP, PLC, TDK, Daimler AG, Mercedes-Benz Automobiles, and Samsung Ventures are among Storedot's key investors. So far, the business has raised $130 million. Storedot filed a patent late last month for technology that provides a booster function that enables the battery to evaluate the charging station's capabilities in real time and modify the battery's capacity to handle high current rates. According to the firm, these technologies are intended to increase the speed of miles per minute of charging substantially. It also said that the technology would be accessible to other groups to accelerate the worldwide adoption of electric cars. Furthermore, it will extend the existing charging infrastructure and eventually achieve a zero emissions society. We want to work and support the global community, including infrastructure providers and automotive manufacturers, in their missions, Meyer Dorf said in August. This is fundamentally vital at a time when the industry is dealing with a variety of charging infrastructure rollout issues not least the global semiconductor shortage. In 2019, Storedot demonstrated the world's first complete live charge of a two-wheeled electric vehicle in five minutes using a tiny form factor of their XFC technology. It proved the scalability of its XFC batteries for various devices a year later by completely charging a commercial drone in five minutes. Another watershed moment occurred in January 2021 when Storedot released engineering samples of batteries. Previously, the firm has shown ultra-fast charging speeds for phones and scooters. 
StoreDot obtained NASA permission to undertake what the company claims is the first space-based research and development program into novel battery materials. The experiment is a series of Israeli research experiments carried out abroad the International Space Station as part of the Israeli Rakia program. The Rakia initiative meaning sky in Hebrew, supported by the Israeli Ministry of Science and Technology and the Raymond Foundation, is part of Axiom Space, Axe 1 the world's first commercial trip to the International Space Station. Eaton Stibe, the second Israeli astronaut in space, will fly to the ISS aboard the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft as part of the Rakia program next year. He will spend 200 hours on board working on scientific initiatives and educational outreach, including a series of live lectures for Israeli students. Raymond Foundation and the Ministry of Science revealed the 44 projects chosen for the program in May, several of which still need NASA clearance, radiation, genomes, immunology, brain functioning, quantum communication, astronomy, agritech, communications, optics, ophthalmology, medical devices, and disease research are the initiatives under consideration. Meyersdorf expects no significant breakthroughs from this first space experiment. Although establishing a technique for evaluating materials in space and Earth and comparing the findings is pioneering, he says and will have ramifications for businesses well beyond batteries. Because this has never been done before, it's impossible to predict precisely what we will find. However, the technique of studying reactions in space has enormous promise and will allow us to uncover things that just would not be feasible on Earth. StoreDot's XFC technology will be rigorously tested in zero-gravity circumstances for two weeks on the ISS. We've sort of exhausted possibilities for new materials research on Earth. We're attempting to explore whether we can speed up the development of novel materials under zero-gravity circumstances. Meyersdorf said, Knowing what is going on within the chargers is part of the difficulty of developing new batteries. Battery cells must be tested in severe circumstances such as high and low heat, low oxygen levels, and other extreme situations. The purpose of this testing is to sift through different scenarios of battery deterioration, he added. According to Meyersdorf, experimenting with rapid charging in space has never been done before. The procedure may May help identify flaws and degradation processes that do not exist on Earth. What are your thoughts on the Store Dot fast charging battery? Please let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, hit the like button. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications.